one. What's going on? This director here with G. We back with Bookman Not Visual Audio Podcast. And today we got a special, special, special guest, man. He does a lot in the community. I ain't gonna get into all that what he do, because I'm he about to tell y'all in a minute. So Wayne, what's up, man? Appreciate what's you coming up? through, what's my up? guy. Peace man. and love with Peace you, and brother. Love, man. Peace and love. Number what's high up? vibrations with you, man. Oh yeah. And, um, um, I just love your energy, man, and uh, appreciate you coming through and blessing us with your good energy and with yeah, your good um, motivation, your good inspiration, man. Appreciate you. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah, you wanna let everybody know? Go ahead, go ahead. My name is Light Worker Wayne. I'm a motivational speaker. Also a content creator. I post daily motivational videos on all social media platforms. I'm also a life coach and social worker. So I mentor a lot of youth, young adults, seniors on anger management, depression, you know, all those ills that try to lower our vibration, man, you know? All right. Let's get into it. Light Worker Wayne, like, how you get the name? Okay. <laughs> well, the name, you know, well, you know, first of all, I know the name sound catchy as yeah, hell. <laughs> but, um, well, really, not to toot my own horn, though, but uh-huh. um, my real name is Dwayne. Okay. You know, but I just started going by Wayne. Okay. Really, just kind of in honor of my father. Okay. You know, he's 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 not dead or anything, but, uh-huh. but just 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 as a as a legacy thing uh, you know uh, so I'll, and plus everyone that knows me usually just call me wayne okay you know and plus too i have a speech impediment and when i was uh, younger i used to stutter a lot saying the wayne because the d then wayne you know what i mean uh, so i used to just go by wayne because it was uh, wayne you know just simple it just flows but the light worker came about is because you know um <clears throat> you know as I was going through the spiritual journey, you know, mm-hmm. I discovered that I'm a light worker. And what a light worker basically is, is just a being that was sent on this planet just mm-hmm. to raise the vibration, you know, just to help the people, you know, well, help definitely. the human beings. And how I, you know, discovered that I was that was, you know, I went through a pretty rough transition um, in my 30, well, 29, 30-ish, right. you know, um, you know, during that time, I was dealing with homelessness, you know, mm. and um, I was dealing with dead end jobs. I was dealing with a divorce. Mm. So, you know, I was really going through it, you know, on a mental mm. level. And that's, you know, I kind of had a spiritual awakening. Okay. And mm. I just decided to call myself light worker, you know, Wayne. And I felt like that I was really a light worker. Like I knew I was always a indigo child. I knew I was always mm. different. You know, right, right, right. And I, I can, I can feel the spirit, though, man. But you, you know, my guess was how, how I thought because you're a social worker in that way, so that's why I yeah. thought you, you got the name. Ah, <laughs> I feel that. I feel that's why that. that was my guess, though. That's why yeah. I'm, I'm glad you, yeah. had, you told me that's what it is. And I heard you talk about your pops, man. Um, and he's from Trinidad, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's from Trinidad. Um, how has that culture influenced you growing up? Okay. Well, my dad. Well, one, you know. Um, Okay, look at it like if you have an African dad, right? You know, uh-huh. the the social perception is, you know, when you have like an African dad, you know, they're yeah. a lot harder, strict. Uh-huh. You know, he was the same way, you gotcha, know what I'm saying? Gotcha. But um, and but how, how his upbringing influenced me was, you know, um, in the West Indies, you know, we, uh-huh. we, we, we always pride ourselves with being productive, working, you know yeah. what I'm saying? you know uh family you know uh-huh. and he instilled that to me early okay you know okay. and two he was also in the military you know okay. so mm-hmm. yeah so i had that strict military training growing uh-huh. up as a kid you know it sucks ass you had to as be on time kid. you had to be on time for everything yeah right? yeah man i had to be on time man <laughs> i had to be you know clean cut yeah, and all that make your bed up every morning yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah man. yo Making up the bed. Making yeah, the bed. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> and your uh, your mom's from Savannah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you got the southern. Yes. Mixed with Caribbean. Southern. Coast. Yeah, southern mixed with Caribbean and like a northern too. Northern. Because okay. my pops, when he moved to the states, okay. you know, he was living up in New York, you know, okay. for a time period, and uh-huh. a lot of my family from my pop side is uh-huh. up north, you know, up top Jersey. Okay. You know, so, 
Yeah, it's like that mix, you know, that that North, South, and Caribbean oh. influence. But I'm pretty Americanized, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Perfect but, mix, bro. Yeah. yeah. Let's get into your mission statement. Um, Got you. Motivate, educate, elevate individuals through positive content and motivational speaking. Yes. Pretty dope. Yes. Uh, and that's 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 the main mission statement. You know, uh-huh. that's that's the main goal. You uh-huh. know, uh-huh. every time I try to put out a content, right? I'm either going to motivate you, right. you know, give you the energy, the electricity, you know, right. to get you up, to get you progressing to that next level, okay. or I'm going to educate you, you know, right. teach you something, you know, or, or a perspective, you right. know, that you could think about, right. you know, right. Right. and I'm going to elevate, you right. know, I'm going to raise your vibration, you know, a lot of people when they watch my videos, like they say, they actually feel the energy, yeah. you yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I feel it because like um, a lot of times you can watch some motivational stuff and, and really not connect with it. Yeah. But you you're you're energetic and um and I feel it that you really mean it and um like it's your life's purpose and you're doing it. Yeah. So yeah, so that's why your videos stick out to me. Gotcha. And, Appreciate and, um, that. Content. Um, you TikTok. You ain't playing. You you, you know you banging on TikTok. Yeah. A lot of people. Yeah. You, oh, I don't, don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. You get it. So. Yeah, <laughs> you get it. Yeah, and you know the thing is, you know, you got to use all these social media platforms, right, you know, right, to, right. to help put yourself out there. You yeah, know, TikTok, yeah. IG, Facebook. Yeah. You know, how do you bridge the gap with the youth? Like, um, if y'all don't know, like, you be big on um, uplifting the youth, man. Yeah. How do you bridge the gap from a younger generation to how you know how you grew up? And how, how do you kind of like just bridge the gap and kind of relate to them where they can um, respect you? I approach it the same way like I approach mm-hmm. it with my clients, right? One, I find out who they are. I meet them at their world. Uh-huh. You know, what are their interests, the music they listen to, what uh-huh. their vibe like, right? Uh-huh. So I try to make myself knowledgeable of that. Uh-huh. And with that, just with interest, it builds already builds a connection, uh-huh. you know? So when I put out you know my videos you know especially if i'm trying to target the youth Uh you know i kind of use some of their slang you know what i'm Uh saying you know i I mean even though you know me you was you know probably raised in the time period where we said you know fire dope you know know what i'm saying so you know i throw a term yeah yeah (laughs) you know so i throw a couple you know i throw a couple of I throw a couple of no caps in it, whatever, yeah. you know what I mean? But, but, but I just connect with them, though. Okay. You know, right. connect with their time. Okay. Meet them at their world, you know? So, uh, with your social worker, like, uh, how, did start, how did you really start being a social worker? Well, I started, I came about that, really, I was put on. Mm-hmm. And, um, he's like a mentor to me. So I was really put on by him. Um, okay. I was working in the school district, right? Okay. And I was a pair pro. And I was mm-hmm. working with, you know, a lot of kids with special needs. Mm-hmm. I always was around people with special needs, you mm-hmm. know. I was in special need classes when I was younger, uh, you know, for my speech impediment, uh, you know. But um, so he saw that I was actually good with kids. Right. And, you know, you know, he taught the opportunity to me. He coached me, you know, mm-hmm. the steps, and I was able to get an interview with uh, one of the agencies I'm working with, Education System Management. Mm-hmm. So I was able to get an interview with them, and from that point, you know, I just kind of got into the field. You mm-hmm. know, they taught me the ropes, and they certified me through the process. And, you know, I just started, you know, started doing the social work. I mean, mm-hmm. I like... I like helping the kids. I like talking to the kids, mm-hmm. you know? I like understanding where what they're going through, mm-hmm. you know, and giving them the skills to mm-hmm. manage that. Cuz a lot of them really man, a lot of them they don't they don't have a positive male figure right. or they may not have a father. Right. You know? So that, that you feel like that's what what make, that that's what uh, gives you the motivation to wake up in the morning, is, you know, that brings joy to you to anything. It's like, you yeah. know what? I want to see, you know, this kid needs somebody to connect. But you having a strong father, you feel like that helped you? Yes. You wanted to connect with other kids who yes. may not have a father. Yes. Uh, yes. Like, that's the key. Uh, majority of the kids, right, that's, you know, that get in trouble, uh, you know, that's in the situation, uh, I find that majority of them don't have an active father. Uh, 
mm. you know so a lot of times they need a big brother you know mm. one day one that they respect you know I try to I try to say them all some of them it don't vibe as well mm. you know what I'm saying mm. but the but the ones that do though you mm. know like they really like connect with me you know mm -hmm. you know let's speak legacy what what you want to be known for like like working away when they say your name years and years and years what do you want to be known for like attached I, to your name gotcha like working away <laughs> <laughs> i want to be known for my energy i mm. want to be known for making a positive impact i want to be known for one of the one of the you know black men that's helping the community that's right. helping the community evolve into their greatest state yeah. i want to be known as a strong black man mm -hmm. that changes the perception you know uh -huh. that being nerdy or being intellectual right. isn't cool right. you know what i'm saying Definitely. yeah and i want to be mm -hmm. known want to be known as a legend what? You know, I, what I created, what yeah. I did, like yeah. how much lives I impacted, yeah. how much yeah. people have grown, you know, how much people yeah. was able to get to the next level for yeah. them to progress and live the greatest life that they can. Yeah. What's, what's next for you? Well, what's next for me right now is I'm working on a motivational workbook. Okay. You know, I want to... That sounds dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, motivation work, man. Yeah. Break, <laughs> break that down for us. <laughs> Basically, um, you know, it's like a journal entry and it uh -huh. has quotes to motivate every, uh -huh. to motivate the individual that's reading it, uh -huh. but also to that words of encouragement, things that they can inspire them, uh -huh. you know, quotes from, quotes from leaders and greats that uh -huh. really renaissance with me, you know? Uh -huh. And I'm able to put that in there, like, you know, mm -hmm. them being themselves, you know, mm -hmm. able to put that into the book mm -hmm. and they can actually write out their day, yes. you know, they could write out their challenge. Right. And then I'll also have points to where it will motivate them like, hey, you overcame that, mm -hmm. you know, so that's what I'm working on right now. Also to just trying to expand more on all these social media platforms, wow. you know, yeah. trying to grow my YouTube more. Yeah. Yeah. And also in the future in the works, we're actually getting a website, you right. know, to where people, they could see everything. Cause you know, yeah. everything is visual, right? you know, yeah. where they could actually see the website, you know, for they could yeah. actually see that I'm serious about the speaking that, you know, I really do speak. I mean, hell, you know, yeah. I'd be out on the street just speaking <laughs> when I shoot my videos, you, you does, know, yeah. Yeah. Some people get inspired by it, some people don't, you yeah, know. Yeah. And definitely, um, the more you do it, the more people you're going to reach. And uh, you're going about the right way through social media. And um, your workbook, man, I can I can see that going into the school systems or something. You, you ever thought about that? Like, Yeah. Once you get, you know, down pack, like, that like school system, not picking it up, because that, that's dope. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I definitely, I definitely want to get more involved with the schools, you know, mm -hmm. and even, even doing speaking gigs at, right. you know, different schools and just teaching the kids because, you know, a lot of these kids, you know, especially, especially the adolescents, you know, I know mm -hmm. they're trying to find themselves, they're trying to discover who, trying to discover who they are, you know, mm -hmm. and a lot of times, you know, they get pressured by the media mm -hmm. and this and that, and I just want to just let them find out who they are, just with them going within themselves and finding out mm. who is the real version of them yeah, yeah. you know that they don't have to be this they don't have to mm. be that you know you know like being cool is just being you mm. being cool is being the leader oh i gotta say that again being cool <laughs> is just being you that's, yeah. you don't gotta act that's like no bar. one else yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. A big bar, man. yeah. and uh that's why i like what you bring because people need to hear that yeah like yeah because a lot of times they think cool is being somebody else so yeah, uh, I like that you you be bringing that. Um, let's speak on mental disability. Like, uh, how, how do you deal with uh, maybe someone who has a mental disability? Well, it depends on which type of psychosis they have as okay. far as mental disability. Like, let's say someone with depression, right? Uh -huh. With depression, um, patience. One, you know, uh -huh. gotta have patience. And two, I teach them coping skills, actual coping skills that they can use in their life, like uh, uh. exercising, changing the way they eat, 
You mm. know, sugar is linked to that. Sugar is linked to depression. Sugar's <laughs> sugar's worse than cocaine. Sugar is like a cocaine. Sugar right? is cocaine. Yeah. Yeah. But um, also having to meditate. You know, mm-hmm. meditation actually works with that. Mm-hmm. You know, having them meditate, having them come outside more, getting raised in the sun, because the sun actually raises your vibration and it actually increases like your happiness. You actually mm-hmm. feel better when you're out in the sun, you mm-hmm. bathe in the sun, you know? Mm-hmm. So those are just a few of the coping skills that I actually mm-hmm. teach and I direct them and instruct them, you know? And I make sure I educate and explain to them through. And we even role play together. And I demonstrate to them how they can use that. Oh, I feel that. So that's when, when you can, you went straight to the sun, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Oh. I just love what you do because uh, you're being a change you wish to see. And uh, by being a change you wish to see, you know, basically, that's what you want to see in the community. So yeah. uh, big ups on that, man, and what you're doing. Yeah. And also um, anger management. How do you deal with someone who you know go through anger management? Because I went through anger management as a youth. Like I wasn't always calm and chill as I am now. But you know, as a youth, I really dealt with anger management. So like, um, say say that I knew you around that. You know, say yeah, I was going through that. I knew you. What would you tell me? Like I'm just you know angry. Okay. You know? Well, first I'll well first I'll ask why are you so angry. You know, mm. like what's going on, you know? Uh, then once we understand that, right? Uh, then I'll go to, okay, well, what are some things you'd like to do? And why I'll ask that is because I'm trying to find out a way that you could redirect it. You mm-hmm. know, when it comes to anger, right? The mm. biggest mistake that we have is that we hold it in. When we hold in that anger, mm. raises our stress. Stress is a silent killer, mm. you know? And it lowers our immune system, lowers our vibration, right? So. If I could find out what you like to do, and we could redirect that. When you redirection, when you use that technique, you know, you redirect that anger towards it. Like say you like to do martial arts, you know. Uh, uh, you know, for me, you know, when I'm angry, I do a lot of martial arts or boxing. Okay, you know, and it helps redirect that anger. Uh, you know uh, what I'm saying? Uh, Sports, activities, as long as it's something physical. Uh, also too, you could write about it, journaling. Journaling, journaling works for some people, you oh, know? Yeah. I know for a lot of kids it don't. Yeah. But also too, what I tell my kids too is to write a rap bar, to write a rap about it. Cause oh, when yeah. you're rapping yeah. and cause you can use rap as a form of therapy, as a okay. form of releasing what's making you mad, you oh, know? Yeah. So I do the same thing with my kids, yeah. you know? So for you, you know, I, I, I say, you know, a sports, you know, and Let's also wrap some bars, you know. All right. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll order me down for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah. Um, definitely appreciate that. Being a positive role model for kids, how is it? How important is it for more people to be more positive role models for kids than you? The kids, man. Well, the kids are the next generation. Right, right. You know, the kids—they're the next one that's going to you know, uh, either better the world or make the world worse, right? So it's very positive. I know, especially us in the black community, you know, we we lack a lot of positive role models, you know? Uh, You know, we, and it's so strong when a little black boy is able to see a strong black man, you know, who knows himself, you uh, know, who is not afraid to be himself, who's not afraid to be a leader and who's doing something that is different from you know what he may see others to see you know because that's a powerful impact because that person is standing on his own you know that person is showing that kid another direction so i mean with positive role models man we need a lot of them we need a lot of them you know what i'm saying i mean our people we are waking up we are changing how we're doing things we are evolving so the positive role models gotta keep on coming through, keep on coming through, you know. And I, I, I know Pop said uh, like he might not change the world, but he might spark the mind that somebody will change the world. Yeah. Along those lines. Yeah, yeah, like that's dope. That's so dope. I feel like you know you might spark somebody. Uh, you know you're already sparking people, so yeah. but you never know down the line what type you know person you sparked or you change their life. So exactly. definitely. Um, me on that man. Uh, 
and you know i want to say you know i'm glad you used the Pac example right because you know Pac's mother you know inspired him because you know his mother was in the black panthers mm. you know what i'm saying so Genius. Pac had yeah Pac had those positive black role models and yes. it leaked over to his music right. it leaked right. over to his music yeah. you know you yeah. know well that's real he has some some, some powerful um <laughs> Powerful role models, and then he came out of time where where people were really about that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Most definitely, man. Shout out to Pop. Yeah, Who definitely. inspired uh, Lightworker Wayne, man? Since you know, you're you're, you're powerful, um, very motivational. You're inspirational. So who inspires somebody who is already inspirational, yeah. motivational? Uh, <laughs> Ralph Smart, man. Mm. In, in Infinite Waters. Okay. You know, um, that's another positive brother. Mm. Um, you know. He do the same line of work, you gotcha. know, but um, he's from the UK, you know, uh -huh. he talks about spirituality, being positive, and, uh -huh. you know, just seeing his videos inspires me, wow. you know what I'm saying? So just seeing his videos inspire me, you know. Um, I also say too, you know, some of our black leaders, like, you know, like Fred Hampton, man, Fred Hampton, for him to be 21 and so knowledgeable and so, like, so much of a leader, so strong, I mean, I mean, he was able to unify gangs, man. He didn't care what hood he went into. Right, like, right. yo, like that's a power right there, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You um, know? Yeah, somebody like uh, Nipsey Hussle, same type of, type of influence. Yeah. Uh, you know? Um, I mean, anybody who can influence people, you know, in, in, um, in different ways, man. Um, Huey P. Noon, um, exactly. Malcolm Martin, everybody, man. So, yeah, um, those are some people who inspire me, but. Got you. Um, nature, man. You you're one with nature, man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, how did how did that come about? Just being in tune with nature, because you do a lot of videos with nature. Well, uh, I do a lot of videos with nature. One, you know, uh -huh. I just like being outside, man. Like yo, when I like started, you know, going through this whole, you know, the spiritual awakening and stuff, man. Uh -huh. It's like I was a kid again. You know, uh -huh. I, you know, as a kid, we always want to be outside. You know, and you want to be outside, play with each, you know, play with other kids, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like, now I wake up, right? And I gotta, the first thing I gotta do is go outside. Right. You know, I gotta go outside, I gotta meditate, you know what I'm saying? It feels right, mm -hmm. it calms me down, it balances me, man, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. A day when I don't meditate, I'm stuttering, crazy, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm like super emotional, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, man. Got to be outside, man. Feels good. Yeah. So, uh, like you said, like earlier, you were saying about the the sun and uh, being outside. Uh, do you meditate? Yeah. 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 And I meditate pretty daily. You mm -hmm. know, on um, for like fifteen minutes or mm -hmm. sometimes twenty minutes. You know, yeah. and I do it right on the fresh. Fr Right on a fresh patch of grass, man. Fresh uh, patch of grass, you know, take the shoes yeah. off, just meditate, man. Yeah. Uh, stones, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, what, they, what they represent? Or you just... Yeah. Okay, well, this right here, now, this is made by 44 Creations. Okay. Now, the this one has actually helped me with my speech impediment. Mm, okay. You know, all these stones okay. deal with the throat chakra. Uh, you know, okay. it helps release that blockage, right? Mm. So... I particularly, you know, he particularly made this one for me, you know, mm -hmm. to help me counteract my stuttering, mm -hmm. to help me be able to I could talk fluently, uh -huh. you know. That's dope. Like, uh, I love the stones and stuff, too, so. Yeah. That's what I noticed. Your favorite book? My favorite book, uh, I don't, it has, it would have to be the 48 Laws of Power. 48 Laws of Power, man. My top five. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, but that's your top five? My top five, yeah. Yes. It's four laws of power, man. Like, if, if, if you can understand four laws of power, it'll show you how to get through life and how to deal with people. Exactly. Like, like, a lot of people say, oh, that's, that's manipulating people. But, you know. No, no. <laughs> see, see, see we, 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 but I'm saying when people use that, right? It's like a gun. A gun right. can save someone and a gun can murder someone. Okay. You know? It's all depending on how you intend to use it. Yeah, your intentions. Yeah, it all yeah. depends on your intentions, man. Uh, you know, that 48 Laws of Power, man, there's strong stuff, and yeah. you know how to move. Uh, uh, move through different systems and stuff. Yeah, no, that's, that's right. So, since you do 
I'm going to kind of put you on the spot. Okay. I'm putting him on the spot, y'all. You know what I'm okay, okay. You do motivation. Do you have anything motivation to spit for us? Yes. Yes, I oh, do. Man. So, let's talk about the power of positivity, right? When you're feeling down, when you're feeling low, when you're dealing with negativity, replace that thought with a positive thought. Replace that thought with something that's powerful. Something that makes you feel good. Something that inspires you. Something that makes you warm and smile. Because, see, when you use the power of positivity, you will block out all the claws of negativity. When you use the power of positivity and increase your vibration, you will then be on the lane of the highest motivation. So let's go and let's get up on this elevation. So when you use the power of positivity, what you are doing is your thoughts are powerful. Your thoughts can manifest your reality. So when you focus in on the positive solution, positive outcomes, you can manifest that. But see, when you focus on that negative stuff, you bring more negative back, right? You know, it's just like the rich gets richer, the poor gets poorer. You have to be able to be the change and you have the power. As long as you believe in yourself, as long as you put the pressure, as long as you put the pressure on yourself to do better, don't overdo it though. But to do better and to attempt it each and every time, you will master and you will obtain the greatest version of yourself just by using the power of positivity. So don't doubt yourself, but believe yourself. Because if you believe yourself, then you can achieve it. And once you can achieve it, then you will believe it. Well, believe it first before you can achieve it, right? <laughs> yeah. That's dope. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely. Nah, I had to put them on spot, y'all, yeah, because... Uh, yeah, I know. I know for the people who don't who don't know who he is, now you know. Um, give them your IG and all that so, that, yeah. so they'll know um, how they can find you. Because after this, they're gonna wanna they gonna wanna tap in. Oh yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely tap in with me, you know, for daily positive motivational videos. So my IG is the same as my TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube. Lightworker Wayne, spelled exactly how it sounds. L I G. H T, then W O R K E R, then Wayne, like Lil Wayne, W A Y N E. Two goats. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Two goats, yeah. man. I see that you, you you do a lot with the youth, but let, I know you you do stuff for elderly too, man. Yeah. Uh, speak on that. Yeah. So with the elderly, right? You know, I work with them. You know, as far as health, you mm -hmm. know, uh, sadly, you know. Some of them are dealing with the repercussions of not living, you know, a healthier life, right? Mm -hmm. You know, so um, I'm more like teaching them how to implement healthier uh, ways of living, you know, stop doing, you know, sugar, more herbals, you know, get up on this, get up on this sea moss, super healer, you know, get up on that sea moss, you know, teaching them about the benefits you know, of all these natural things that people, that our people have did for years, you know, to benefit them. So I'm helping them with that. Some of them may be schizophrenia. So I'm teaching them how to block out those negative thoughts, right? And that not every thought is theirs, you know? And they got to block out those thoughts that's telling them to do, you know, saying the blah, 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 blah. Right, you know? right, right, right. <laughs> and also, you know, some of them, some of them also have an anger management, anxiety, stress, just like everyone else, right, right, right. you know? So, um, health plays a big part in, um, how you feeling. Yes. Um, so basically we can, we're not only should we get our mental right, we got to get our health right. Yes. Yes. Cause see, yeah. everything is, you know, with therapy, you know, right. coaching, mentoring, you got to tackle the full circle. Okay. If you only get one side of it, okay. you know, then that one side will will eventually go back, you know. Uh, so you got to get the the mental, the physical, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you know, and the spiritual too, you know okay. what I'm saying? And, 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 you know, the spiritual, you know, they can have their own practices, you know, but just, just encouraging them just to uh, know themselves, you know, through a spiritual practice. Yeah. Trying to think what 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 Erica Badu said like uh, how you gonna win if you're not right within exactly <laughs> yeah hey yo that's dope so uh, man so speaking of like Erica Badu on that what's in your playlist like okay what are you listening to these days 
what I'm listening to these days. Um, well, I I listen to really a lot of uh, a lot of um, like talk radio. You know, okay. what I'm saying yeah. either you know you're talking about finances or uh-huh. problems in our community. You know, uh-huh. um, I do listen to music. You know, what I'm saying, uh-huh. but um, and if I do listen to music, I'm more of a cold head. You know, you know, yeah. you know, is so listen cool. to J. Cole or yeah. is listen to Rap City, pretty much anybody from North Carolina. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's been. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out North Carolina. Um, I lost train of my thought. Look, keep going. Uh, dang, I had it in my head, but I'm gonna keep going. Okay. Um, yeah, shout out to J. Cole, man. Um, yeah. He most definitely. Um, he must definitely come on with it. What do you say you see your company, your business, your brand in the next 10 years? Oh, motivational speaking worldwide, you know, in schools, motivating, educating, elevating millions of people and wow. children. Uh, the motivational workbook being, you wow. know, sold. Also, too, I see me on TED Talk, man. Wow. You know, I, you know, I see me on TED Talk, you know. You know, doing the same thing that we're doing too. Right, right, you know? right, right, right. Um, but being a, a successful company that's able to leave a legacy, you know, of positivity, mm-hmm. you know, that's able to make a change in this world, mm-hmm. you know. So mm-hmm. I see my brand as very successful, you know. Mm-hmm. People are digging, digging the positivity, you know what I'm saying? People are loving it. Mm-hmm. How you stay so positive when it's, it's uh, a lot of negativity out in the world? Or yeah. Do you create your reality? You don't see negativity. Oh no, 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 no! I still deal with negativity, man. No, you know, no. hey, I'm, I'm not perfect. You know, look, yeah. look, you know, the main thing is we're all students and we're yeah. all learning. You know, yeah. and you know, but um, how I deal with it, I personally, I use nature. You mm-hmm. know, and I use nature meditation. Okay. Nature meditation. I, I people going. People may think it's weird, but I talk out my problems to myself. Okay. You know, I use positive self-talk. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I talk out my problems. You know, I talk out like, all right, Wayne, yo, it's going to be cool. Yo, just chill. Go out and meditate. You know what I'm saying? Don't stress about it. You know, so, you know, I verbalize, you know, a lot of what I could do to handle the situation and just meditating and going outside. And And I also use, you know, when you're practicing positive thinking, you know, it is a skill that you gotta, you know, practice to develop. Yeah. But I, bl- I block or remove those negative thoughts. Anytime that negative thought comes up, I replace it with a positive thought. Hmm. You know, I like that, I like that. Yeah. yeah. Also, um, they saying if you if you listen to a, like a, a lot of audio books instead of like a, a lot of music all the time, like um, it's like reading a book. Um, if you just run to the store, you just you know. You listen to your audio books. Keep listening to. Keep listening. That 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 add up. So you like reading a book. Um, you like reading a book. So I I started coming back on. Always all my music now. I listen to audio books. Like yeah. you know while I'm jogging, while I'm driving. So I, most definitely how you were talking about the TED talks and that. Like I, I definitely uh, pumped up that. Yeah, 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 definitely so. And you know, you know, that's that's really that's how I was listening to the yeah. Forty Eight Laws of Power, man. Yeah. I was riding to work with it, just had to play yeah. it. Yeah. You know, yeah. most definitely. Uh, we we really like to end on like positive quotes and uh, affirmations. Mm-hmm. So if you got some like a positive quote, meaning to anything that helped you out during your um, upbringing, you know, anytime you might use it now, can you give us that? You know. Okay, I got it. Uh, and it's um, well, it's what I use now, right? Basically, um, I just say, uh, "Let's get it." Let's get it. <laughs> yeah, you said it, you like, "Let's get it." <laughs> I, I just let's get it. Let's you get know, it. you know, you know. I just say, "Let's get it." it when uh, I say that, I feel better. Uh, you know, and. That's positive because it's motivating, you yeah. know? It motivates you to get up yeah. and get get it, meaning whatever that you feel like that would help you yeah. become the greatest version of yourself. Yeah. I, I was gonna ask you to, to say that too. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, I got you. Yeah, so, this is called Book Me or Not. Why should they book you or not? 
Well, one, they should book me mm. because one, you know, yeah. especially mothers and parents, you uh, know, you need a big brother coaching figure. You know, okay. I could coach your your okay. sons, you know, I could coach your daughters on ways how to mm. deal with, you know, the daily pressures of what's going on. And also, you know, I could also help them with life skills. You know, uh, a lot of us grew up in households where we didn't we wasn't taught financial literacy. And I'm not saying I'm a guru in that, but uh, just basics like saving mindful spending you know making sure that you're saving for a rainy day you know what i'm saying so mental health right now you know it's been an awakening in mental health you know what i'm saying you know our people in the world have realized how important it is you know you can't get the wealth without having good mental health because good mental health helps you have the stability to maintain the wealth and the money uh-huh. You know, so, you know, everybody want to get money. Everybody want to be, you know, everybody want to be able to live, you know, a life where they can buy whatever they want to buy, huh. you know. So invest in yourself, invest in your kids uh-huh. by having them have a mentor to mentor uh-huh. them for they don't have to use, for they don't have to make certain mistakes uh-huh. and end up, you know, in a situation that could inhibit their growth like uh-huh. jail or incarceration. Wow. You know, so that's why, you know, I feel like people should book me. Also, too, you know, everybody needs, especially during this time that we're going through, man, wow. you know, everybody needs some positive motivation. Everybody needs to, you know, feel better. You know, everybody needs that. You know, they need that good energy, the good vibes, man. So wow. why not book me, you know? Uh, financial literacy. Yes. Why is that important? Because, uh, you know, your your money, wealth is tied into your happiness. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, uh, uh, and I would say money to me isn't the root of happiness, but money is an engine that allows you to get to happiness. So you got to be able to be mindful of your money. You got to be able to be able to put your money in areas where it could grow, you know, because, you know, if you're dealing with situations where you got lack of money, it causes all types of stress and it's just like a domino effect, you know. You, you went to the crypto currency? Yeah, thing? yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah. I am too. Okay, yeah, I heard y'all, you and uh, Third Eye Vision, y'all was talking about it. Yeah. I was, I want to ask you about that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but that right there, like, you know, actually, you know, uh, it was a situation where one of my um, clients, you know, mm-hmm. he's like 17 or whatever, you know, um, mm-hmm. he's evolving a different lifestyle, but I was coaching them, you know, it was like six of them, you know what I'm saying, you know, uh, you know, um, all them was in a different lifestyle, you know what I'm saying, but I was coaching them on how to download Robinhood, on how to go about the process of getting stocks and stuff like that, and they actually listened, you know, and yeah, I mean, with financial literacy, you got to teach that to the kids too. You got to coach them on that, you know, because if they go out in this world and if they don't understand the value of a dollar, you know, they're going to, they could, it could easily set up to where it's causing them stress on their mental. Mm. Oh, that's dope, man. I appreciate you um, being the change that we need to see, man. So I'm going to give you, yeah. you know, your flowers right here in your face, man. Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Keep motivating. Um, Thank you for coming on Book Me or Definitely. Not, man. Definitely. Spreading some of that light. And, uh, we're going to keep working. We're ready yeah. for part two. We might, part two is going to be outside somewhere walking down the street, man. Yeah. And so, uh, man, I want to hear you say it one more time now. Let's get it. Let's get it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it, Let's man. Hey, Solid Peace. TV. Uh, no negative press for clout. Um, book Me or Not. You know, I appreciate everybody tapping in. Third Eye Vision. Hey, Solid TV, man. And we out. We out. <laughs>